What up YouTube, this is James Tech Help, and today I've got my first ever unboxing video for you. Today I'm going to be unboxing the iPad Mini 4. I've, also, I've opted for this model in gold, which is my second gold Apple product as you'll see in the video. As we just tear away the sellotape here, I'm trying to get into this box which is not very Apple-like in terms of the packaging uh, the shipment box. Uh, in comparison to the uh, Apple Watch, the Apple Watch was simple with a pull tab. This is more complicated with the sellotape and a very different experience. Many people don't care about that though, <clears throat> apart from myself. And there we can see the iPad mini just inside. We'll just try and get it out of the box now. Little glimpse of the Apple Watch I can see. And here it is in gold. Now I've been a fan of the iPad mini ever since the very first generation. I picked up the iPad mini 3, didn't see much of an improvement and opted for something different. As you can see there I've gone for the 64GB Wi-Fi model in gold. Um, I plan on having this iPad mini for a while, I plan on missing next year's generation uh, unless there's something really really sceptical, um, really really revolutionary about it. We tear away the plastic here now. We're just going to get inside and finally get to see the iPad mini in all of its glory. Now, one thing disappointed me about this was when I lifted the lid now, the iPad was not covered in a plastic seal as you can see here. As you can see the contents of the box, if you've seen other Apple product unboxings, then you know this is very, very similar. The UK wall adapter there, just covered in a bit of plastic as I try and get it off, and also the additional wall adapter component. This comes with a 10 watt uh, power adapter uh, to charge the iPad mini. Quick tip, if you use this charger to charge your iPhone, it will charge it double the quickest time. So quick tip, I use these a lot. Inside the little pamphlet, as you can see, we opened it carefully, very packaged very well, and also presented very well by Apple, as you come to know. So we got iPad mini there, little uh, quick start guide, and a bit of information on the back saying welcome, etc. Got the iPad warranty information and of course those stickers, but they are in white, uh, only the MacBook, 12-inch uh, MacBook comes with the gold or the space grey stickers. No gold stickers in this box, which is a shame. And also we have now the proprietary um, Apple Lightning cable. I have a ton of these, as you can imagine. So here we go, booting up the iPad for the first time. Always good having a new Apple product and starting from fresh and getting fresh new goodies. As we wait for it to boot up now. This iPad rocks 2 gigabytes of RAM in comparison to the 1 gigabyte iPad mini 3. Here we go, we're going to the setup screen now. We just slide when we say hello. This comes with the, the Touch ID, not the second generation, just the first generation, but it does come with Touch ID. The only upgrade to the iPad Mini 3 last year. So as we go in, I'm from the UK. This is one of my second video. So if you are liking this video so far, don't forget to subscribe down below. We choose a Wi-Fi network now. We go in, enable location settings. I'm not going to do Touch ID right as of right now. I'm going to do it later on to save time. Just go in now. There's a new move data from Android option there, as you can see, which I'm obviously not going to do, but that's a new feature in iOS 9. It's the first time I've seen that, obviously, because it's a new product uh, running iOS 9. Uh, currently awaiting the iPhone 6S. I've pre-ordered the iPhone 6S Plus uh, in silver and also going to pick up the iPhone 6S Plus in gold uh, on launch day. So you're going to update the iCloud settings now. I've logged into all my Apple ID. And we're just going through the settings. It doesn't take too long to update. And we can enable Siri. We can not send these diagnoses to Apple and get started. And we have our first look at iOS 9 on the iPad 
Now I've got to tell you straight away, the screen is crispy. It is amazing. It's laminated to the glass, which is exactly like the iPad Air 2, and this enables uh, sharper images, bolder colors, and less reflection. Uh, as you can see, the, the camera really doesn't do it justice. It really, really needs to be seen in person. So if you go by an Apple store, you need to check this out. So as you can see, just on the corner there, the reflection does hold up well compared to iPod Touch. You can see it is uh, performing a lot better. So yeah, the iOS 9 runs smoothly as of uh, previous testings. Let's kind of take a comparison to the Gold. Now I was concerned because the Gold in the iPod Touch was very different to the Gold on the iPhone 5S for instance. Now this Gold does seem to be on par in the iPad Mini 3 with the iPad Mini 4 with the Gold on the iPod Touch. 6th generation. Now let's compare to the iPad Air 2, obviously it's bigger brother, the screen size is still 7.9 or comparison to 9.7 on the iPad Air 2. The design languages stay the same, the microphone was moved to the same place as the iPad Air 2 towards the iPad Mini 4 and the volume rockers are now the same. The speaker grills have gone from two smaller dots to just one single line of larger dots. This is providing much better sound in comparison to the iPad Mini 3, 2 and 1, which you would expect in the generation. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe down below.